I just thought I would record a quick video to um, demonstrate how this project actually works because it's kind of complicated to explain. So um, on the left here we've got a um, the IDP server, so identity provider, and on the right here we've got the client. So this would be just a client app, um, you know, one of many apps that use this singular identity provider for their user base. So you could have one user that spans multiple apps. Um, so I'll just kind of walk through the process here. So if the user was to create a master account, so like with the, the identity provider, so like this would be equivalent to like your Google or Facebook. Uh, so we'll just register an account here. So we go test user three and test three. All right, register, cool. And now we can see that's just another account here. Um, yep, and there's the details. There's obviously you can add in more details if you build this app out properly, but for now that's that. Um, while I'm here, um, also show you the logging in on the um, client side. So now that we've logged in over here, we can actually, actually I'll, I'll just log out. I'll show you something. So log out of the parent. Um, so like the Google equivalent. Now we go log in over here and log in. Cool. And it'll tell us, hey, log in. So we go to test three. Uh, test .com. password cool and now um, it'll ask us do we want to authorize so this would be like you know do you want to allow whatever um, website to access your account you go yeah sure cool all right and now we're in and see it just pulled into that name and that name wasn't set in this app at all that actually came from the identity provider so we could have plenty of different details here like you know date of birth address whatever um, and all those details can get pulled in here it creates a new user automatically and also notice that we didn't use any passwords on the client app at all so it's it's um, a little bit more secure this way as well so okay um, also if we go over to our parent app now um, you remember that we did log out of this uh, because it's a uh, shared cookies. So we refresh here, now home, and we can automatically log in. So this spans uh, multiple apps at once. So SSO, I'm single sign on. Um, I'll also show you the setup process here. So this has to be done by like, I guess, one user, probably like an admin or something. So JS. So this was just the first one I did. First account that I created. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. Cool. So this is the client ID. So we initially we put this in the .env of the client app. And this only has to be done once to link to link it up properly. So this would be reserved for admins. But yeah, there's a client ID and a client secret, and there's a OAuth2 flow uh, back and forth that um, authenticates the app. Um, yeah, you just have to do that once. Uh, yeah, anyway, and you can create your clients as well. Um, same here with the put in the redirect URLs, um, similar to any OAuth2. Um, yeah. So, just to recap that again, I'll just um, cool, just log out over here, and then log in, and look at the passport, the test three at test dot com. Cool. Uh, log in. Cool. Then refresh over here. Notice that it did log in. 
Yep, sweet. And then, yeah, anyway. Um, that's that. And so there's an identity provider done in Laravel uh, using Socialite on the client side, using the, um, yeah, using a few plugins there, but it's all on the, all on the blog, so. Um, anyway, cool. See you later.